The herpes simplex virus is a lifelong infection. I heard that there are two types of the herpes simplex virus. I heard that 60% to 95% of human adults are affected by some form of herpes in their lifetime. I heard that most infections are unrecognized by those affected. Oral herpes involves cold sores or fever blisters around the mouth, but genital herpes involves sores around the genitals or rectum. The herpes genome is pretty inactive in infected cells, but can be activated when stressed. I heard that transmission of the herpes simplex virus is possible even when the infected person has no visible sores. So, as you all can see, I'm a pretty impressive virus. But how am I, herpes simplex, actually transmitted? First of all, you need to know that there are two types of herpes viruses. Oral herpes is caused by type 1 of the herpes viruses, but can be transmitted to the genital regions. Genital herpes can otherwise be transmitted from one person to another sexually, and are usually because of type 2 herpes viruses, like me. Rarely, I can also be passed on from a mother to her baby during delivery of the baby. Anyway, for transmission, there has to be intimate contact between someone who is infected and someone who is not. If someone is infected with me, they'll often have sores on their skin. So, when these sores come into contact with someone else's skin, I am able to infect them too. Specifically, this happens if contact is with the other person's mucosal surfaces. I can also easily pass through skin abrasions, which are cuts and cracks in the skin. So, once I've invaded someone new, I start to replicate at the site of infection. I'm a virus, so I must hijack and take over a cell in order to replicate. I attach myself onto the outside of the cell using proteins that link us together. Next, I inject my genetic material into the other cell. I then use this host cell's ma machinery to replicate myself. Finally, I burst out of the host cell and spread to other parts of the body. This process I use to replicate is called the lytic cycle. It's kind of like I carjack someone to do something illegal and then burn the car once I'm finished. Pretty violent, don't you think? When I'm finished hijacking and replicating, I can be transported to the nervous system in my viral capsid. Nerve cells help me out and transport me to a specific part of the spinal cord. Once I'm there, I can replicate and replicate until I'm tired of this and I want to take a nap. This stage is called latency and I stay in this stage until I am reactivated. I can be reactivated by many things. Stress, high temperatures, and too much sunlight are just a few examples. When reactivation occurs, I produced more copies that are released near the site of the initial infection. You may never know when I reactivate. There are sometimes no symptoms. At this point, I can spread to other individuals. Because I can hide and nap in this latency, there is no cure for me. You can only treat herpes, not eliminate it. Guess I'm here to stay forever.